Okay, so in this video I'm going to be reacting to Urban Legends TikToks, and yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first one here, we have three uh, Mexican legends, and I feel like usually these ones are pretty creepy, so yeah, let's, let's see if we get scared from these ones, these three. Hello, I hate play. This shape-shifting witch is described as seven feet tall and has the body of an owl and the face of a man. Don't go outside if you hear whistling outside your window and chupacabras. It's been described as a vicious, dog-like, or reptile creature with spiky fur, sharp claws, and red eyes. It's said to attack livestock, drain them of all the blood. La Llorona primarily roams areas near bodies of water. She is described as wearing a white gown and having long black hair. So if you hear, it's already too late. Three Mexican urban. Yeah, uh, there's a spoopy owl person, and then some dog thing, and then Laterona, which uh, I've heard of Laterona before. I actually made a whole video about her however long ago. You guys can go check that video out if you want. But, yeah, those are kind of- I think I've heard of the dog one, too, but I don't think I've really heard of the owl lady one, so... Yeah, at least we can kind of learn something new, <laughs> so that's cool. So this next one is supposed to be urban legends that turned out to be true, and there's like three of them, just like the other one, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's hit play and see what these ones are, <laughs> what real scary things happened. Top three urban legends that turned out to be true. Part one. Number three, the sewer crocodile. One of the most famous urban legends is about a crocodile living in the city sewers. While it may sound unbelievable, there have been several cases where crocodiles have been found in sewer systems. For example, in 2010, a young crocodile was discovered in the sewers of New York City, confirming the truth behind this urban legend. Number two, spiders and bananas. According to this urban legend, venomous spiders frequently hide in imported banana bunches. This story has proven to be true on multiple occasions. In 2005, a British family found a venomous spider, known as the Brazilian wandering spider, in a bunch of bananas they purchased from a supermarket. This case confirmed that there is some truth to this urban legend. Number one, the killer, hiding in the back seat. This urban legend tells the story of a psychopathic killer who hides in the back seat of a person's car and attacks when they are distracted. While it's difficult to find specific cases that exactly match this legend, there have been incidents where dangerous individuals have gained access to the back seat of cars and attacked their occupants. These events have confirmed the importance of being cautious and checking the inside of one's car. Top three urban so yeah you know <laughs> be careful always check your shit and all that so yeah i guess that, that's just a little warning video to always check whatever shit before you do anything okay this one is some scary urban legends from different states yeah let's hit play and I've heard a couple of these, and then I haven't heard of other ones, but yeah. Um, so I've heard of this one. This one's actually kind of messed up, but yeah. Um, and then I don't think I've heard that one before. Um, I maybe heard of that one, but I don't really remember if I have. And then I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of personal nightcrawlers. Like, Fresno I, I fucking love Fresno Nightcrawlers, they're fucking great, like, if you don't know what Fresno Nightcrawlers are, like, go, go look it up, cause they, they're actually kinda cute, you know, they're, they're not really scary, they're, they're more cute than anything, cause they're just walking around with their little legs, or I guess not little legs, tall scrawny legs, but they're, they're just so cute, <laughs> I don't know, something about it is cute. We got another one of those where it's scariest urban legends from wherever places instead of just states we have just I guess anywhere around the world here but let's hit play this is part three of their things that they made so 
they have more, I guess. The scariest urban legends around the world. PT three back. Get the boogeyman, which I feel like the boogeyman is everywhere though. We got Krampus, which like can you can 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 you say that Krampus is really an urban legend? I don't know, but like I guess it still makes sense to put here. But so I I don't know, but okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I've actually heard of this one before, like however long ago. I don't know if like I saw this video or something or. I, I don't think I would have seen this video. This is actually from like 2022, so it's I probably didn't see the video, but I think I've heard of this story before, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna hit play though. Did you ever hear the legend of the girl who danced with the devil? The story takes place in 1970s San Antonio, Texas, with a young Mexican-American girl named Rosa. And Rosa wanted to attend a dance at a nearby nightclub called El Camaroncito. Rosa's mother, however, was very strict and did not allow her to go. But despite her mother's orders, Rosa snuck out of her room late at night and went to the dance anyway. At the dance, Rosa was approached by a very tall, charming, handsome, and well-dressed man who asked her to dance. He had been seeing charming young ladies all night, and Rosa was no exception. But when they began dancing, Rosa looked down at his feet and was horrified when she saw that he had goat beans for feet. When she screamed in terror, people of the dance began to chase him out, but he vanished into thin air, leaving a trail of smoke and a smell of sulfur behind. The smell being a classic calling card of you-know-who. And those who live in San Antonio near what once was El Camaroncito nightclub say that the smell of sulfur still lingers the area. Did you ever hear the- See, I don't- I think I may have heard that one before. For some reason the comments are turned off on this video too, so that's kind of weird, but I guess whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's another one where it's scary urban legends from the US. And yeah, so this, uh, I guess there's multiple, not just three or two or whatever, but yeah, um, so there's a white screen, I think maybe I heard of that. And then, uh, they put Texas here and Slaterona, which he's Mexican now, not whatever. Uh, and then there's a bridge, scary bridge, and, and then this one also is a scary bridge one. So yeah, I, I, I feel like that, that, that I don't know no one should be, uh, should, that's, that's a Mexican thing, not Texas. Um, I feel like the goat bridge or whatever would, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the goat, the goat bridge is Texas. Like, I made a whole video about that too, and so, you know, that would have made more sense for Texas, right? Okay, so, uh, we actually seen this intro thingy on another video, like, in one of my other TikTok, reacting to TikTok videos, we also watched one that had this little intro thing that looks like it's from a game or whatever here. It's like the dog barking, but, yeah, so this is Scary Urban Legends Around the World, part 19 of this person's thing, but, yeah, let's hit play. So yeah, it just says scary religions from around the world. And then we got one from Japan. It's Tiki Tiki. I actually made a video about her too before. We got the United Kingdom. And we got this dog thing, which I kind of want to make a video about. Um, we got Goatman in here, which I think I made a video about before, kind of. And then Morocco. There's some ghost looking lady. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like I, I knew, like, pretty much all of those, almost all of those ones, but if you didn't know all of those, then I guess hopefully you learned a new urban legend. Here's another one from, like, scary urban legends from the states, so yeah, let's hit play and check this out. <laughs> So the first one is Arizona. 
It's skinwalkers, but that first picture was a goat man, not a skinwalker. The next one's Florida, and we got Skunk Ape, which I've heard of. The, the Skunk Ape is a nasty one. So yeah, uh, the skinwalkers thing. I feel like the skinwalkers are pretty much everywhere for... It's not just one state, so, you know. And then Skunk Ape is specifically Florida, because that's where people originally saw it. Okay, so this one is scary urban legends around the world again. I think this one's as like from one of the other TikTok channels or users that we already watched other stuff from. Like the I think it's like the same profile picture and stuff. But yeah, uh, let's hit play. Yeah, it's the scariest urban legends there around the world. And the first one is from Russia. We got Bobby Yaga, which is cool. I feel like a lot of people know what Bobby Yaga is. And then we got Japan one, which usually has like ghosts and shit. And then US and Canada, and there's Mothman. We love a Mothman. <laughs> and then United Kingdom. We got Owlman, which is basically like Mothman, but an owl dude instead, so. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I, I, you know, I knew of Owlman before that, too. Like, I feel like a lot of people know of Mothman, but not that many people know about Owlman, which is kind of sad. Like, I don't see people talking about Owlman that much. I don't know why. Maybe it's just kind of like people forgot about it or something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this one's also by whatever uh, person that we've already seen other ones before. I feel like maybe they didn't get some of these correct, though, from where they're supposed to be from. But yeah, let's just hit play and we can talk about it after. <laughs> they keep using this uh, song, too. They got Iceland, and they got the Yule Cat, which... I don't know, I feel like it's just cool. We got this fucking freak here. North Africa. Which they put Medusa here, which is weird. In Japan. We got this freak here. Weird water creature. But like, they put Medusa for South Africa, which is weird because like... She's a Greek? monster <laughs> like why is it saying south africa when she's greek like i don't know like maybe it's just she went from like i don't know maybe her whole thing got in like multiple places and not just greece but i don't know she's like mostly known for being a Greek thing, so I don't know. So like we already whatever with these ones in other videos, but like at least they put the correct pictures for this. So yeah. Um, so first it's uh, Arizona, which we already kind of saw whatever, and then they put Skinwalker, and they actually put a picture there that actually looks like Skinwalker. They put Maryland, and then they put Go Man, and they actually use a picture that is Go Man. That's for the correct thing. Um, but yeah, I think this picture is actually from a movie, so I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of like there was a whole thing of like people being like, "Oh, is this real?" But it's actually like a movie or a TV show thing. I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> apparently it's just like that whole video. It's just like people were you know, freaking out, being like, what is this? But then people were like, uh, guys, they're lying. It's from a fucking movie. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, this one, we got some other stuff. It's kind of, you know, they do the song. Like, you know, it's from the same person when they keep doing the same song and stuff. But, yeah, this is just more scary urban legends from around the world. Yeah, uh... Canada and Greenland says the old man. I actually made a whole video about that guy. It's supposed to be an SCP though. So, I don't know. And then we got 
her. She's actually from, like, uh, Ice of Horror Games. She's from that game. We got this freak. <laughs> New Zealand and Europe. We got a Shadow Days. Yeah, um, so... Yeah, I made a whole video of the old man, and he's like, a SCP, so... I don't know, is he an SCP or is he an Urban Legend or both or something? And then this lady, who's supposed to be like, a floating head and stuff, is like... I know her from Eyes the Horror Game. Um, and then... Yeah. There's like the other stuff. I feel like a lot of people, whatever, with like shadow people and stuff, so that's not, I guess, that crazy of a thing. I feel like every place, like, you know, everyone sees like a shadow person out of the corner of their eye and stuff like that. So, so that is all I have for I this know. video. If you want me to react to any specific TikToks, then you can like send them to me somehow or add to me in the comments of the video. My TikTok is always linked down below, so it's easy for you to do that. And yeah, so bye!